All right, folks, the mummy is finally here. And for all you mummy fans out there, unfortunately, Brendan Fraser will not be making a cameo appearance. Hey, O'Connell, it looks to me like I got all the horses. Hey, Benny, it looks like to me you're on the wrong side of the river. So the movie is starring Tom Cruise, Annabelle Wallace, Russell Crowe, and Sophia Boutella, and is directed by Alex Kurtzman. And a brief synopsis of the movie, basically an ancient princess is awakened from her tomb and she's pissed the freak off, so she's bringing down the rain on us. There's a whole lot of destruction coming our way. So what worked for the movie? Let me start off by saying this. Sophia did a good job embodying the character of the mummy. What she brought to the table in portraying this new mummy for this new generation was pretty good. And I can't really complain on how she presented this character to us. And with that being said, I like how this mummy was different. It had more of a horror aspect to it versus the Brendan Fraser franchise where it was more of an action adventure, family oriented mummy movie. This one had more of a scare tactic to it and I actually kind of like that direction that they went with this movie. And another thing, the acting was pretty good. I mean, come on, people. We have Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe in the movie. So we're not going to get nothing but the best from these A-list actors. So what didn't work for the movie? Let me start off by saying this. I didn't really like the dynamic between Tom Cruise's character and his sidekick buddy Chris Vale in the movie because the humor fell flat every time there was a joke being said between the two. I feel like they were trying to embody the dynamic between Brendan Fraser's character and Jonathan from the other Mummy franchise and it just did not work for this movie. There, there was a lot of crickets every time that they said a joke. And another thing that I felt like didn't work for the movie was... The Mummy's character story took a back seat because they were trying to develop Russell Crowe's character's um, story at a certain point in the movie that it was almost like 20 minutes went by and you almost forgot that you were watching a Mummy movie because they were trying to develop Russell Crowe's character for the monster universe that they're trying to set up in the future. And another thing that didn't work was... I just felt like we didn't get enough of the mummy powers in this movie like we did from the Brendan Fraser's franchise. I get it. They're trying to separate it. That's one of the things I did like with the scare tactic, the little horror feel that they gave us. But at the same time, you can still give us a little bit more mummy powers. The only thing that she really did the whole time in the movie was just like have brute strength. There was only one scene that we seen in the trailer that she did the sand that destroyed half of London and that was it. They could have gave us a little bit more of the mummy powers. So overall, folks, based off of the stuff I previously mentioned, the story wasn't 100% good. It was okay. There was some stuff that was lacking for me because of what I mentioned before. And I felt like the action sequences wasn't something that we haven't already seen in movies previously, especially with the mummy franchise. They didn't bring nothing new to the table to set themselves apart from other movies. Sometimes us as movie fans, we need to see something new. You got to give us that wow factor. And with the mummy, they just didn't capitalize on that with us. This is a new generation of kids that's going to grow up seeing this movie. It's been a long time since the first Mummy. I think that came out in 1999, if I'm not mistaken. So come on, you guys got to do a little bit better with that. So on a Kaiba scale, a 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie a 6 and a half. So I definitely feel like you should see it during matinee. If you got a $5 Tuesday in your local area, definitely check it out on $5 Tuesday. And I don't think you should really waste your money buying it on Blu-ray. Just wait for it to come out on TV. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. After you subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Hit the like button and please leave a comment.